Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be seeing, can you still make some money on the Escape from Tarkov flea market? Now, I'm not talking about making a million rubles in five minutes. Those days are long gone. But can you still scrape by with some chump change? That's what we are here to find out today. As always, make sure you're leaving a like on the video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Let's hop right into it, man. Let's get right in the flea market. Let's find some items. All right, the flea market is not loading. It is not cooperating. So... We will have to postpone the uh, the money making. All right, we're in. Let's make some money. So there is a couple of things I like to do right away. And the first one, as I've told you guys this before, just scroll through all the lists. See if anything's jumping out at you right away. If you don't find anything, that's where you can start to zero in some items you're comfortable with. But I like to do this every time in case you find somebody who's selling something for one ruble. It happens before and it continues to happen now. So not really seeing too much out here that's, you know, looking promising. I'm not going to lie to you. So first thing we're going to do, top in the armor vest. Profit. All right. You know, I'll take a little bit right off the top. Quick refresh. All right. Now let's go to our weapons. See if I see anything jumping out at me. Right there. Easy. Now I know we were... Just barely under 12,200,000. So we're going to have to get back over that. Let's check the assault rifles now. Let's take a chance on that one. Might not make anything. We might make something. Who knows? All right. Bolt actions. Now, these Mosins, the really short ones with the uh, no stock, they can spawn with. A hybrid suppressor which is worth like 90,000 so sometimes you just want to go right into the Mosins and uh, check them out sometimes you can find with the suppressor on it not today though no RPKs jumping out at me nothing there pistols are always good to check out sometimes you find a TT with a suppressor or something easy money there maybe find a garage that has a laser or something all right, nothing crazy there. SMGs, what do you got for me? You know, this might be some cash right there. Different handguard. All right. Shotguns. Easy. This one's probably gone already. Oh, wow. And y'all are y'all are slacking up a little bit. All right, so we got plenty of weapons now. I'm gonna hop back to the armored vest. All right, let's check out our drill prices. All right, let's get started here. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna disassemble everything. We're not even gonna waste the time with all the other nonsense. We gotta make sure we only sell things that we just got. Alright, so we picked up those suppressors for 15k and 17k respectively. So we're gonna lock that profit in. And now we have all these other items that we got from all the weapons that we bought. I think these were already there, nothing else in there. So everything else down here should be good to go to sell. Lock it in. All right, let's go to fence. Anything else? I think we're good. All right, so we just made like 50K in like four minutes uh, just from looking at a couple things and doing a barter. I mean, it's actually that simple. Uh, as soon as you know what you're doing, you are set. It's literally that simple. As soon as you know what to look for, you're good to go. Eh, no questionable there. Let's see if we can do another round. This is already gone for sure. Wow. We still might not make that much on both of these. But we'll take a chance on them. I think nobody's really sniping the market right now. Fine by me, but plenty of potential out here, guys. 
Once again, just scrolling through the weapons, looking for anything that jumps out at me, something with a little bit of variation. Looking for laser sights, any, any of that stuff. I already checked that one. All right, so now we're going to go to WD-40. Yep. Once again, mechanic. Obviously, not all you guys are going to have all these barters unlocked, but once you learn the barters that are the best, you will start to lock them in a lot more efficiently. And then now we're just going to do another fleet check. No brainer. We'll repair that one. Won't make as much, but still make a little bit. Ooh, I almost jumped on this one. Yeah, we would have lost money there. Sometimes those VPOs have suppressors and shit on them. Something you gotta look for. I don't know if Gluhar's M1 is worth more or less, but I took a chance on it. Maybe we will luck out. RK3 right here for 13,000 rubles for anybody who might need one, who can't get one from a trader, whatever the case may be. Easy way to get RK3s is on Sega's. All right, now once again, we're going to check the WD-40. Nothing doing. All right, let's sell. Seventy four thousand rubles. Then we're gonna break down those two other weapons that we bought. Three weapons, actually. Then the armor. I mean, guys, seriously, it's that simple. We just made 100k in seven minutes. I mean, guys, in all honesty, I think that's almost on pace for a million. Now, obviously, we are not going to be able to keep that pace up. But this is an example when the market starts getting like really dry, knowing all your barters, uh, all that stuff, you can just scroll through here in seven minutes and make 100K while you're waiting for your buddies or something to gear up, uh, whatever the case may be. I mean, there's so many different variables. Once you know what attachments to look out for, and I'm not going to go into depth on this video. This was just to see, um, you know, if you can still make money. Oh, do I want to chance this one? Fuck it, why not? Let's lose a little money to end the video. But, um, you know, once you start to learn weapons and attachment values, you know, right there, I lost 3K. It is what it is. But uh, once you know the attachment values, all that other stuff, I mean, you're going to be sitting pretty in some cash. And, um, you know, if you find a suppressor or something worth 90k and something you can use in raid and you save that money as well. So, ton of opportunity. I was just focusing on, I focused on the drill barter, which for the Osprey suppressor. I focused on the Glock barter, which I've shipped multiple times in the Rap Money series here on the channel. It's an entire series focusing on one item, how to make a bunch of money off that. Make sure you check that out. Um, and then we focused on the armor and we focused on the entire weapon section to find weapons that were profitable. So that is pretty much it for today's video, man. I want to keep this one short and see how much money we can make. And we made about 100K in like seven minutes. So that's where we're going to end it off. Make sure you leave that like, subscribe if you're new, sponsor and equipment description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.